Hello, Romy. What are you doing on the computer? I'm trying to work on Windows 10. It is so different from Windows 7. I do not know about many of its features. Don't worry. I will tell you all about Windows 10 and you will learn in no time. You are welcome. I am very eager to know. Windows 10 is the latest version of Microsoft Windows operating system. It is a user-friendly and flexible operating system. The older versions of Windows mainly ran on desktop and laptop computers. Windows 10 is designed to run equally well on tablets. Some features of Windows 10 are as follows. It is completely free to upgrade. It is quite attractive and user-friendly. It has updated and improved start menu. It gives quick access to all the apps and services. Cortana is a new feature of Windows 10. It is a voice-activated personal associate. It includes Windows Defender by default. It has antivirus protection to safeguard our system. File Explorer is a core part of the operating system. When it opens, we can access frequently used folders and recently used files. It has a new web browser called Edge. Task View is a new button present on the taskbar. It has the facility to open multiple desktops at the same time. Window snapping feature allows us to drag and drop a window to any corner of the screen to open many windows simultaneously. It lets its users switch between tablet mode and the desktop mode for devices that offer touch screen. Users can switch between these modes very easily. Desktop Desktop is the first screen that you see after login. It is the main screen for work. Its main components are Start Menu, Icons, Taskbar and Background. Start Menu With all new features, Windows has also improved its traditional Start Menu, which was not available in its previous versions. This Start Menu is used to access all the installed apps and functions, either default features or apps installed by the user. When we click on the Start button, Start Menu appears on the screen, giving all the available options to start using the Windows. Let's learn about all the options available on the Start Menu. All Apps It displays a list of all the installed programs which a user can start or use. File Explorer It displays a list of documents used by current user. Settings it displays a list of utilities to configure the computer system and install software and hardware. Power. It displays three options, sleep, shutdown and restart. The start menu is split into two columns, the left pane and the right pane. The left pane gives you the direct access to the apps you use frequently or that you have installed recently. The right pane contains tiles which you can customize. The right pane. We cannot change much the left pane, but we can customize the right pane. Making the right pane fill the screen. The steps to make the right pane fill the screen are as follows. Step 1. Right click anywhere on the desktop. A shortcut menu will appear. Step 2. Click on the personalize option. A setting screen will appear. Step 3. On the screen click on the start option and then turn on the use start full screen option. Now click on the start button, we will get the right pane as full screen. Resizing a tile. Tiles come in four sizes, three square sizes and one rectangle. We may want to make some of them bigger and some of them smaller. We want to make the important ones rectangular so that we can read more information on them. We may also want to make the rarely used ones smaller so that more of them fit into a compact space. The steps to resize a tile are as follows. Step 1. Right click on the required tile. A shortcut menu will appear with options. Step 2. From the shortcut menu choose the resize option. Another options menu will appear. Step 3. Select the size for the tile. The tile will get resized. Adding a tile. You can add tiles to the right pane. They may be apps 
folders or disk but not individual files the steps to add a file are as follows step 1 click on the start menu and scroll to the name of the app that is to be added as a tile step 2 right click on the icon of the app step 3 click on the pin to start option the required app will appear as a live tile removing a tile the steps to remove a tile are as follows step 1 right click on the tile that is to be removed step 2 click on the unpin from start option the required app will be removed as live tile power option of start menu what should we do when we are finished using the computer we shut down our computer but ideally we should not do this as it is a waste of time when we shut down we have to wait for all the programs to close and then the next morning we have to reopen everything reposition the windows and get everything back the way they are we should not leave the computer on all the time this is a waste of electricity a security risk and a black mark for the environment rather we should put the computer to sleep the power option of start menu has three options sleep shut down and restart let us know about them sleep option it is a great option it is used when we want to take a break without closing all our programs or shutting down the computer when we put the computer to sleep windows quietly transfers a copy of everything in memory into an invisible file on the hard drive but it still keeps everything active if we open the computer everything reappears on the screen if we do not open the computer windows switches the power off and the computer has no power at all this is called the hibernate mode restart option this option closes all the open programs and then restarts the windows again automatically the computer is not actually turned off we might do this to refresh our computer shut down option when we shut down the computer windows quits all open programs offers us the opportunity to save any unsaved documents exits windows and turn off the computer taskbar the taskbar is a long horizontal bar located at the bottom of the desktop its buttons show a number of programs or files we have currently opened and we can add commonly used programs also these programs can be single click to open when a program is active then it has a lighter shade with a bar below it we can click on the taskbar button to go back and forth between opened items we can pin or unpin any app on this for quick use pinning an app to the taskbar the steps to pin an app to the taskbar are as follows step 1 select the app which we want to pin on the taskbar step 2 right click on the app and select the pin to the taskbar option the app appears on the taskbar unpinning an app from the taskbar the steps to unpin an app to the taskbar are as follows step 1 select the app which we want to unpin on the taskbar step 2 right click on the app and select the unpin from taskbar option the app gets removed from the taskbar moving the taskbar Usually the taskbar is situated at the bottom of the desktop, but we can change its position at any of the four sides of the screen. The steps to move the taskbar are as follows. Step 1. Right click on the blank space on the taskbar and uncheck the lock the taskbar option. Step 2. Now drag it to any side of the screen. Live taskbar previews. To preview the open windows, we just need to place the mouse to the taskbar button. The steps to get a live taskbar preview are as follows. Step 1. Bring the mouse over a pinned program to preview the thumbnail of that window. Step 2. To open the window, click on the thumbnail preview. We can also close the window and pause songs and videos from the thumbnail preview. Snapping the windows. Snap is a new and a quick way to resize the opened windows by simply dragging them to the edges of the screen. It helps us to do multitasking. 
With the help of this feature, we can read two windows simultaneously, organize them, share data among them and even compare them. The quickest way to see Snap in action is by dragging the title bar of an open window which is not maximized to the far left or right side of the screen. We will see bars coming out from the sides of the window. Just let go of the window and it will snap and maximize to take up the whole screen. Displaying multiple windows at a time. If we open more than one program or document, our desktop can quickly become cluttered with windows. Keeping track of which windows are open is not always easy, as some windows might partially or completely cover others. So it is very essential to manage multiple windows to make it easy to get to a window quickly as per our requirement. To display two windows at a time, the steps are as follows. Step 1. Open the windows that we want to view. Step 2. Right click on the empty space of the taskbar. A menu will appear. Step 3. Click on any one option to arrange the windows on the desktop. Cascade windows, show windows tagged or show windows side by side. Dictionary. Desktop. It is the first screen that we see after logging in. Taskbar. It is a long horizontal bar located at the bottom of the desktop. Snap. Snap is a new and quick way to resize the opened windows by simply dragging them to the edges of our screen. Let's refresh. Windows 10 is the latest version of the Microsoft Windows operating system. Cortana is a new feature of Windows 10. It is a voice-activated personal associate. The start menu split into two columns, the left pane and the right pane. The right pane contains the tiles which we can customize. We can add tiles to the right pane. The sleep option is used when we want to take a break without closing all our programs or shutting down the computer. The restart option closes all the open programs and then restarts the windows again automatically. The shutdown option closes all the programs and turns off the computer. Pinning a program makes it easy to access. There are three ways to display two windows at a time. Cascade windows, stacked and side by side. 